Hi everyone, welcome to lecture on design of RC elements. Myself, I am Dinesh Kumar, Assistant Professor, Hindustan College of Engineering Technology, Ayanathori. Today, we are going to discuss about how to design an one-way slab. First of all, we want to know what is meant by one-way slab. So, one-way slab is nothing but the ratio between longer span to the shorter span, that is Ly by Lx. Ly is longer span, Lx is shorter span. So, if the ratio between longer span to the shorter span, the ratio is greater than 2 means the slab is called as an one-way slab. Otherwise, the slab is a two-way slab. So, first step, you have to calculate the value of load acting on the slab. We are having a two types of load. So, first load is dead load and second load is live load. In order to find the total load, we have to calculate the value of self weight of the slab. So, self weight is calculated by using the formula of B into D into unit weight of concrete. Here, B is equal to per meter and D capital D is equal to overall depth of a slab. And gamma C is unit weight of concrete. So, unit weight of concrete is 25 kN per meter cube for reinforced concrete. Then second one is dead load. If dead load is given in your question means take the total load, total dead load. If the dead load value is not given means that just omit it the value. Then last load is flow finish load. So flow finish load is taken from IS 875 part 3 based on the finishing of the flow. If the flow finish load is given means take that particular load. Then total you have to add sulfate, dead load and flow finish load. If the live load value is given means you have to take the live load. Otherwise you have to take the live load based on IS875 part 3. So total load is equal to sulfate plus dead load plus flow finish. So you have to calculate the value of ultimate load. So the ultimate load as per the limit state method, the factor of safety for the limit state method is 1.5. The 1.5 into total load, we have the we have to calculate the value of ultimate load 1.5 into W. So this load is called as the ultimate load. Then second step, we have to calculate the value of shear force and bending moment. So we have a different types of slabs. Say for example, if your slab is a simply supported slab means the ultimate shear VU is calculated by using this formula WUL divided by 2. Then bending moment, ultimate bending moment WUL square divided by 8. If your slab is cantilever slab means the shear value is calculated by using the formula of W in U into L. Then ultimate bending moment WUL square divided by 2. Then next step you have to calculate the value of whether our depth of the slab is sufficient or not. So, we have to take taking the moment m u is equal to m u limit then m u limit for f e 4 f grade of steel the value is 0 0.138 f c k b d square. Here f c k is equal to characteristic compressive strength of concrete b is equal to per meter length and d is equal to effective depth of your slab. If your grade of uh, steel is F 500 means the factor value will be 0 0.133 and F C K B D square. If your grade of steel is F 250 that is mild steel means M U limit is equal to 0 0.148 F C K B D square. Then say for example your grade of steel is F 405 means so the required depth of the slab is equal to square root of M U divided by 0 0.138. B. So, this formula is based on this. The next step you have to calculate the value of ASC that is area of the steel for the slab. So, this formula is based on page number 96 class G 1.1.C of IS for physics 2000. It recommends MU is equal to 0 0.87 FY ASC D into 1 minus FY ASC divided by FCK B D. In this formula, MU is equal to ultimate moment. So this ultimate moment is based on your type of a slab. Whether it is a simply supported slab means W divided by 8. Whether it is a cantilever slab means W divided by 2. 
So based on that form, based on this value, you have to substitute the value of m. Here f is equal to e to tensile stress of your steel. If this value is depends upon your grade of steel. Then AST, you have to calculate this value of AST. That is unknown value. And E is equal to effective depth of your slab. Then MCK is equal to characteristic compressive strength of your concrete. Then B is equal to per meter length of your slab. And D is equal to effective depth of your slab. So substitute all the values in this formula. You can calculate the value of AST. And then you have to assume the diameter of the Okay. For a slab, in no case, your diameter of the slab does not exceed 1 by 8 of your overall depth of your slab. So for that you have to assume the diameter of the wall, then finding the spacing of your main reinforcement. So spacing can be calculated by using a list of these three for main reinforcement. So first one is spacing is equal to small ast divided by capital ast into 1000, then 3 times the effective depth and 300. The least of these three value is the spacing of main tension reinforcement. Okay. So here the small AST is based on your diameter of the box. Then small AST is equal to 5 by 4 into D square. So here D is equal to diameter of your box. Then next step is we have to check the shear. The shear value you have to compare two values. So first value is tau V. And second value is k into tau c. Here tau v is equal to vu by v. Vu is based on the support condition of your slab. Okay. Then b is equal to per meter that is 1000 mm. And d is equal to effective depth of your slab. Then next k into tau c. k is equal to depth factor. This factor is given in uh, class 40.2.1.1 of IS 456. Then tau c is table number 19 of IS 456-2000. Here tau c value depends upon two values. So first one, grade of concrete. Then second one, percentage of steel reinforcement. That is 100 AST by B into B. So depends upon these two values, the tau c value can be calculated from the table number 19 of IS 456-2000. Whether you are calculating these two values, you have to check if tau v is greater than k into tau c means your slab is safe under the shield. Otherwise, tau v is less than k into tau c, that is, the k into tau c value exceeds the value of tau v means your slab is not safe under the shear. So, you have to produce, provide the shear reinforcement. You cannot provide the shear reinforcement in slab. Only possibility is you have to increase the overall depth of your slab. And then you have to redesign your uh, you have to redesign the uh, you have to follow this uh, steps and you have to check tau v and k into tau c is safe or not. Whether this condition is arrived means your slab is safe. Then next step is check for deflection. So check for the question, you have to compare these two values, that is L by D max and L by D actual. So actual means, so actual dimension of your slab. Okay. Then L by D max means, uh, L by D max value is depends upon this formula. So L by D max is equal to K into T in the L by D basic. So this basic value is available in your IS 456 2000, the page number 37. Whether L, your type of slab is cantilever slab means LBD basic value is 7. Whether your slab is simply supported means LBD basic value is 20. Whether your slab is continuous slab means LBD basic value is 26. Then K suffix T. So the K suffix T. It is a factor value, this factor value that is called as a modification factor value. Modification factor value is taken from the figure 4 of IS 456 2007. Then multiplying K sub 60 into L by D basic, we can get the value of L by D max. Okay. So if L by D maximum value is greater than L by D actual means, your slab is safe. Okay. Then next step, you have to draw the reinforcement because this is the last step. 
for the uh, reinforcement detail, you have to find the value of area for the distribution reinforcement. So, area for the distribution reinforcement is depends upon the AST minimum. For the AST minimum, for H by AST purpose, the formula AST minimum is equal to 0.12 percentage of B into D, that is 0.12 percentage of total bra section area. Then, if your rod is mild steel, means the AST minimum is equal to 0.15 percentage of B into D. And for the you have to calculate the spacing for the minimum uh, distribution reinforcement. So spacing is equal to the same way. So first one list of small AST divided by capital AST into thousand. Then second one five times the effective depth and third one four fifty mm. The least of these three is the spacing for the secondary reinforcement. So this is the way to uh, way to. Design your one way slab.